Looking to stake a claim on some security wisdom in a hurry? Well, you're in luck, Keyboard Cowboy. It's time for another Black Hills Information Security Nugget. Find out how to call in the Atomic Red Team. Brought to you by Black Hills Information Security. Now here's John Strand. Hello and welcome. My name is John Strand. And in this video, we're going to talk about why Atomic Red Team absolutely has to be a thing that is in your life. So whenever we're looking at computer security, we buy and implement a tremendous number of security products, and we do very little actually test and validate those products. One of those products that we buy and we don't validate is our EDR. That would be like your carbon black, that would be your silence, that would be your Sentinel one and so on. You have these products that you're running in your environment, but you get into some really, really deep philosophical kind of crises whenever you try to start asking what can it detect? How would it alert? Can it detect the variety of different things that we would expect to see in the MITRE attack technique matrix? Well, it turns out that Atomic Red Team can actually help you answer those questions. So I'm going to be going through one of the labs that I have in my pay what you can classes um, at anti-siphon security training and show you what we do with that lab to show you how you can actually test your EDR to make sure that it's working the way that it in fact should be working. Now for this lab, I'm using a little EDR called BlueSpawn. Now BlueSpawn is not a commercial EDR. It is literally a university project that a handful of university students created for a cyber collegiate defense competition. So it's just gonna be a stand-in at the moment for an EDR that you would have in your environment. But the same testing methodology works here as it will in your environment as well. When BlueSpawn starts, one of the nicest thing about BlueSpawn is it'll tell you what techniques it's actually monitoring for. Now, your EDR will monitor for a lot more techniques than what you see here, but we can take these numbers and we can feed them into the Atomic Red Team. Now, some newer versions of Atomic Red Teams have the updated versions of the MITRE ATT&CK technique matrix numbers, and you can test those individual numbers as well. So I'm going to start with just this one right here, Technique 1004. I'm going to take that technique, and I'm going to take it over to Atomic Red Team, and I'm going to run Invoke Atomic Test 1004. This is where it's going to run through and see if that test generates an alert on the other side. It says, Executing Test 1004, Win Logon Shell, Key Persistence, PowerShell. Excellent. We get the output. Great. Did our EDR detect it? Well, if I scroll down here, you can see that it did, in fact, detect 1004. Awesome. Next one I can check for, let's do accessibility features, links, things like magnifier and sticky key for persistence on computer systems. I can now run that individual test as well by putting in its T number here, like so. And it is now done. And at the bottom down here, you can see that Blue Spawn was able to detect that technique as well. Now, a couple of quick tips. When you're running this, you're going to want to run this on a computer system that's attached to the domain and your EDR or your antivirus is running in alerting and non-blocking mode. What this means is it'll generate an alert, but it's not going to kill it. The reason why you want to run it that way is you want the EDR to tell you what it would have done should this particular technique have been fired. Otherwise, because Atomic Red Team is a PowerShell script, you run into situations where EDRs just stop the execution of all PowerShell. And that's not really what we want to stop. We're not trying to stop Atomic Red Team. We're seeing if it can detect the registry modifications, the executable modifications, the task and service modifications on your computer system. Once again, this is a lab that I have in my pay what you can classes at Anti-Siphon. If you like this and you think, wow, I got full instructions step-by-step -step how to do this seems like fun, check out our training at antisiphontraining.com. Oh, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much and I'll see you in another video. If you stuck around this long, like and subscribe to get more Black Hills InfoSec nuggets. And check out these other videos while you're at it. See you on the range, keyboard cowboy.